Hello, I'm Timothy Brusella, and today I want to talk a little bit about annuities. An annuity is any fund into which equal periodic payments are being made. There are two types, two general types of annuities based on when the periodic payments are made into the account. An ordinary annuity is the most common. An ordinary annuity is an annuity in which the payments are made at the end of each period. An example would be as if uh, you're contributing to a retirement account where you work and you're paid at the end of each month. Then that money's going into the uh, retirement account at the end of the period. So that would be an example of an ordinary annuity. Ordinary annuities are the most common type of annuities. The second type of annuity, it's not as common, is an annuity due. An annuity due is made as an annuity in which the payments are made at the beginning of each period. Today I want to look at the future value of an annuity. The future value, by future value I mean what does the annuity grow to uh, at some future date. I'll start off with the future value of an ordinary annuity since those are the ones that are the most common. Let's identify our uh, uh, variables. I'm going to use an S to represent the future value of an ordinary annuity. I'll use R to represent the amount of the periodic payment. I'm not going to use a P because we have too many P's in our other financial math formulas, present value, uh, principal. So I'm not going to use a P for payment. I'm going to use an R. That's standard practice. That's what most people use for the amount of the periodic payment. Amount of periodic payment. I'll use an I to represent the rate per period. And I'll use an N to represent the total number of compound periods or the total number of payments made to the annuity. It should be the same thing. Uh, I'll say the total number of payments. And this event, the future value, is equal to R times 1 plus i to the n minus 1 all over the i value. Realize that that i value is equal to the annual rate divided by the number of compound periods in one year. i is the rate per period, so make sure you're not just using the annual rate each time. That i value is the rate per period, uh, I'll say it's the annual rate. in decimal form divided by the number of periods in one year's time.
using those uh, same variables for the future value of an annuity to you. We'd have S equals R times 1 plus I to the N plus 1 minus 1 all over I minus an artificial uh, payment of R dollars.